Hey guys, good morning. Uh, we're gonna change the oil on the 2019 Sprinter van. Uh, first thing you wanna do, this is this is all the stuff you need anyway, right here. You're gonna need a pair of gloves, that's the oil filter you get from the dealer, that's the part number. And you're gonna need uh, 13 bottles. These bottles are in liters. So you're not gonna use the whole 13, you're gonna use 12 and a half. If you're buying it in quarts, you're gonna use 13 quarts, but I get it from the dealer. That's the part number. And you gotta get a crush washer separately from the dealer. They don't have it in the kit. With the oil. And you're gonna need a pick or a flathead screwdriver, a torque wrench, uh, 13 mil for the drain plug. And this is a 22 for my 22 mil for my uh, oil filter uh, cap. I bought this set here. If you have uh, any European card, you definitely need to buy this. You could get it on Amazon. And this is the one I'm using. It's uh, I think it's a uh, 84 millimeter. All right. First thing you want to do is. You're gonna get an extension so you don't have to move this. And you're gonna stick this on there and you're gonna break this open. You gotta make sure the, the vehicle temperature is at normal temperature before you don't get up in the morning before you crank it and change the oil. You gotta do it. And this, you could, you're just gonna open it up a little so you could shake it. Don't take it out, leave it for 15 minutes before you start your oil change. So the oil goes down. So a lot of guys take it off and then that oil all, all over the place. And you just loosen this right here. And that's it. Uh, let's get up on the there and drain the oil. Uh, you're gonna need this, because the oil is gonna shoot that way. Definitely need this to kind of block it. So you direct the oil into your oil pan here. All right, let's get the 13 mil. Get up on the air. Like this. And uh, if you want, guys, you could use a jack to jack the van up a little bit so the oil, you know, you, you want to get a little extra oil out of there. That's where you jack it up to drain the oil over on this side so you get a little more out of there if you jack it up a little bit okay let me get my gloves on here there we go okay you could get on the hair camera later Loosen this right here. Okay. Let's get that open. I guarantee it's not going to spill on your driveway. And all that kind of nasty stuff. Just kind of push it towards the pan while you're unscrewing it. So. And. There you go. See how that cardboard come in handy? It's like a shoot.
So the first thing you always want to do is crack this open, but do not remove it. Just leave it there. Let it sit. Just turn it probably four times. See how many times you got to turn it before. So it's right there. So you turn one, two, three. A couple of times, turn it until it, you could shake it. Once you could shake it, just leave it. Just let it sit. And you're gonna to torque it down to uh, 25 newton meters. You definitely need a torque wrench to do that. You can go on Google and see how many torque is that if you have uh, pounds for the torque on your wrench. A lot of guys take this off. You don't have to get an extension. That's all it needs. And uh, just have to wait for the oil to drain. Let's see here. Oh, she's still coming out nice. And another thing I do is I change my oil every 10,000 miles. The dealer says, uh, or the manufacturer says 20,000 interval, but I go with 10,000. It's just my personal preference. Uh, 10,000 oil and filter is just a little bit over a hundred bucks. It, it worked it to just change it every 10,000 for peace of mind. Cause this thing is a workhorse. So you definitely, all right. Take a look down here now. You can see, see how I, I leave it there for about 10, 15 minutes. And I could pull it out, no drippings, nothing, no spill. Look down in there, there's no run over, nothing. That's all you gotta do. And this filter is 10,000 miles. And it's... So that's stuff there. And you're gonna use your pick or a little screwdriver and you're gonna remove this little o-ring right here. That's it. That's why it's called a pick. Picks it right on. And this o-ring that goes around here, pick that off. And this is our new kit here. And this doesn't include it in the kit. It's not in the kit. You gotta buy this separate. Ask me why, I really don't know. Why they would not include it in the kit. And I just buy it from the dealer. It takes away all the guessing and spelling if it's the right part. So ring, Let's slide it back on there, nice and easy. Put this over. Always go around with your finger like this, and just get some of the oil from down here. A lot of guys use the new oil; it doesn't matter. You could just you just lube in it. One touch, just rub it around. You do a little on here. Why use the new oil? It's a bunch of oil from the old oil in there. And you're gonna push this down. So you hear that audible click right there. You know it's in. You're gonna put this back in. I'm kind of crazy. I kind of like to wipe around the edges before I put it just in case. Some dirt or whatever. Stick this back down here. And you could tighten that up. It's still draining, so I don't want to close nothing. I want it to drain properly. And this, I never really take it off completely. I always leave it on there because you don't want to drop something down in there. So just loosen it and leave it so air could close down. It's about a little garbage thing there. So this is my half 
from the last time I changed the oil, half a liter. So this time I went to the dealer, I didn't buy 13, I buy 12. The next time I'm gonna buy 13. And then we'll split it again. Okay. Let's see how we're doing in here. Okay. Look at the oil down there. And I'm gonna jack it up and you'll see the amount of oil that comes after you jack it up. another half a liter you get out of there when you jack it up. Amazing. That's a lot of oil. Wow. So by jacking it up on the passenger side, you get an extra Almost an extra half a liter out of there. It's kind of slowing down now. It's, I like to let it drain really good. And I'm going to have a video on there how to reset the service light coming up soon. How to replace the fuel. Uh, filter and I already got a video up there to do the cabin filter and we're gonna do the intake filter too I do it every 30,000 miles on the cabin filter and on the intake filter on the fuel filter I do it every 20,000 they says 40 I do 20 pretty much cut everything in half Another thing, if you have your bolts or tools, there's a little magnet right here. So you don't have stuff falling. I don't know if that's what they put it there for. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's not, but. Okay, so we're gonna torque this down my hand first so little, as much as you can and then we're gonna set my uh, torque wrench to 25 uh, newton meters okay so Set. You get your 22 mil, put on your two here. That's it. Drain plug. 
on here. I don't know the torque spec on that, so we're just gonna. Once you're using a crush washer, these are pretty simple. You just have to just uh, use your uh, regular socket here and just. That's it. That's it. Crush that washer. That's it. Simple as that. Wipe it off. That's it. If you don't replace that crush washer, you're probably going to have a little leak. full bottle for the half make sure you do the half first so you don't wind up throwing a whole 13 in there so you could do the half first sit it aside and then you do the rest so you don't wind up throwing a whole 13 in there Once you put your oil back in there, you, uh, you go inside the van and just turn the ignition on to the second position twice, and then turn it off and then do it again and then you crank it up. And that's it, that's how you do your oil on your 2019 uh, Sprinter van. So good luck and see you soon. Bye.